Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the Rusty Rail Brewing Company from Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, square footage, one of the largest Pennsylvania uh, brewing companies, uh, especially uh, my, uh, craft beer brewing companies in Pennsylvania for sure. Uh, three f stores, apparently three bars, place you can go. There's uh, game tables, there's this, there's that. They're kind of like, there's actually rooms to rent for people who want to get uh, completely inebriated and then fornicate. So there's lots of things to do uh, at Rusty Rail. Please go check it out. Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, right on Route 45, or off Route 45 in Mifflinburg. So this is their Misfit Toys Hot Cacao Peppermint Stout. So there you go, Hot Cocoa Peppermint Stout right there. Here it is, look at that. All right, so cool. I'm really happy I got a chance for James from Rapid Line Beer Reviews to review uh, some of the stuff from Rusty Rail and put it on his channel to spread the word of craft beer of Pennsylvania to the world. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, Stout with natural flavors, brewed and canned by Rusty Rail Brewing Company, Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, from the hot of Pennsylvania, Mifflinburg. Um, the Mifflinburg Milheim, uh, there's Elk Creek there as well. If you look at a map of Pennsylvania, this sounds stupid, but if you look at the map of Pennsylvania, it'll say Pennsylvania in the middle of it, basically. If you look at the V, it's just about under the V area, so. Okay, let's see, blah, 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 blah. 6.5 alcohol by volume. Look, it is what it is. If you're gonna put all adjuncts and shit like that, do it in an Imperial stat because it just comes off better. I don't know. I've never tried this before. They just released it. It's a seasonal thing. I hope I really enjoy it. I mean, obviously. I mean, that's just. I. I, I don't. Feel, I don't feel like a dick by saying that because, like, if you're a consumer, you hope you enjoy the shit you buy, right? That you're going to consume. So I hope I enjoy it. Here's my take. Honest as uh, honest as I'll ever be. Honest to a fault, as Joe says, which I do. You know, I get it. I'm uh, kind of an honest douchebag. So there you go. I'm listening to some Helheim, the early demos from 1993. Gotta love black metal. All right, that looks great. That looks great in that glass. And I'm using the Yorkolo glass from Mansfield, Pennsylvania, uh, up uh, up north center. Uh, they're down center and they're up north center. <laughs> so actually these guys are center, these are north center. All right. And then down center would be like the, would be the Bedford beer beer works or something like that. There's a, there's a brewing company in Bedford and uh, Forbes Trail brewing company up, up there as well, or down there as well. So that's kind of like right down the center. So you got, you got uh, Wellsboro House and um, your Colo, then you go down and then you have Bullfrog and then you find Therapy and then you keep going down and then you have uh, Elk Creek and Rusty Rail, and then you go down again. Then you have like Forbes Trail and um, Old was it Old Bradford Brewery? Because it's it's in Bad Bradford, but it's in Bedford, but it says Bradford. It's one of those kind of things. So right down the center. And no, there's no goddamn road that just goes straight down really to get to all of those places. You have to kind of bump around a little bit. Fifteen kind of does, but not so great. Anyway. I just wanted this beer to breathe, and I did a good time jibber-jabbering so that it could happen. So let's get an aroma on this one. I don't know if I showed you it. I probably did. I think I did. Okay. I had a rusty rail glass here, and I tried to find it, and I just... I don't fucking know. So, anyway. Cheers. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's a nice smell. I made a peppermint patty porter a long time ago, and it has that kind of same cho nice chocolate peppermint smell. Soft roast char, smoke. There's a little bit of that kind of uh, baker's chocolate cacao. Nice little soft, I like the fact that it's a very soft peppermint. Soft sweet peppermint coming out of this. It smells really nice. Cheers. Bit thin, for sure. Being inside a medium body, there's a nice little oiliness to the beer though. Water's down in the back of the palate a little bit. Nice earthiness, 
again, that kind of like soft roast char. Peppermint's nice. The peppermint kind of just wafts all around, all around your palate, but doesn't get abrasive at all. The chocolate needs to be kicked up. You definitely need a more like, you know, in-depth chocolate in this one because it's kind of getting muddled between the char, the dryness, and the and the, the, the mint. So the chocolate needs kicked up, I think. Like even a vanilla sweetness would be kind of nice. It has a kind of almost like a, maybe a dry Irish stout, maybe it's a dry Irish stout base, it almost has like an American porter base to it, like the feel of it, the, the roast, the char, the smoke, the this and that, the kind of um, soft, soft earthiness in the background there, that I get a little bit like a copper coin roast char, and uh, the body's a bit thin, it's, it's a kind of like that lower side of a medium to that medium side of a medium body. There's a little bit of oil that's really nice about it. Um, the carbonation is soft and smooth and, and, and very enjoyable. The mint is super nice. I do like the char, the smoke, like all those things I'm getting are really nice. The only thing that I would really enjoy more of is that chocolate, the cacao, or the chocolate, the kind of like just a nice Hershey sweetness kind of like vibe, a milk chocolate sweetness through the through the middle, and it's like the bumped up character. But everything else about it's pretty damn nice overall. Um, I have I have no problem of uh, giving this a very solid grade. Misfit Toys Hot Cocoa Peppermint Stout. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a seven five. It's not blowing my doors off or anything. It's a very solid beer, very enjoyable, approachable. Six point five alcohol by volume. You can enjoy this. You can enjoy the whole four pack. You really like it. Yeah, it's just it's just missing a little. It's missing that waft of baker milk chocolate kind of sweetness to come in and go, "Hello, boys!" Like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just it's just one line of of flavor. It's there's we're just missing that little bit of that vanilla sweetness, cocoa kind of sweetness, kind of coming together and just brightening everything up you know what I mean it's just it's just missing that one little thing it's not a bad beer at all like I said extremely solid for what it is it's just missing a little bit for me but not a bad purchase at all happy to do it happy to review it it's been Paul Bay Readers cheers bye bye what's that thing it comes